Yeah, I'd say that that's about as close as you want to be. <laughs> and welcome back, guys, to a very special vlog. I'll be taking out this beautiful soft tail that has just come back from the franchise fast and furious hobs and shores in fact the rock can you smell what the rock's cooking he actually used this bike in the film and today we'll be taking this out for a bit of a run taking it down beachy head and today for a bit of a special i've got my man tony <laughs> We'll be coming along on this journey, doing a bit of B-roll film. So without further ado, let's get into the specs and let's kick it. <laughs> So those are the specs of the bike. Anything that I've missed out, I'll put in the description box below. But without further ado, let's hear what this bike sounds like. Let's kick it. So yeah, I just want this to be a bit of a fun vlog today, guys. You know, don't want to get it too serious. But um, I must admit, I feel really, really lucky to be riding such an amazing bike. And I'm lucky at Sykes, because obviously the guys do custom here, it's their thing. This bike in particular, the, the Softail GTB, I've known of it for a while. It's been one of those bikes that I've always looked at, always admired, and to be finally riding it today, privileged. Oh. Hear that twin cam 110. Beautiful. I mean, look at that. You don't want to stick your fingers in there. Let's do it. Okay, so just like the other reviews, let's go down Beachy Head and let's see what this beautiful machine is like. Oh, let's do it. In good old fashioned British form, stuck behind a tractor. Let's just try and overtake you. So what does this bike feel like? Just feels like an absolute animal. What I love about it is that it's so low. Loving the ergonomics at the moment. Nice forward controls. I just feel like I'm on a real meaty Harley Davidson. A real head turner. And I can see why this was in the film. Here we go, on to the first little test. Going around the roundabouts. See what it's like. I mean, I just can't help admire just how good looking this bike is. It's a proper beast. In terms of the handling then, it's okay. A little bit of counter steer, but that's all right that's all right i can deal with that and then let's open it up that 
110. Absolutely beautiful. The Twin Cam 110 has always been one of my favorites. Had it on the Lowrider S. It was probably one of the first Harley Davidson engines that I owned that really made me go, these things can shift. Okay, coming up to next roundabout. Bit of slicing and dicing. Ugh. Yeah. Whoa. Bit of, bit of a handful. Let's just put it that way. Open it up. Woo. Coming into the next roundabout. Let's see if I can master this handling a bit better. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I know this bike's so expensive. I just want to take it easy on it. This could be the quietest I've ever been on a vlog. Just because I'm in the moan month, I'm just enjoying it so much. So just cruising along at 60 miles an hour. How does this bike feel? It's interesting. Consider it's a twin cam. That 110, not much vibration coming through the bars. I mean, to me, it feels like a really nice ride. I almost feel like I'm on a giant Sportster. You know, I'm on a Sportster 48. It's that, that kind of feel. As always, you guys will not be disappointed that the weather, as always, is horrendous today. Oh, look at that. Classic. But anyway, it doesn't matter, because I'm on the rocks motorbike. Oh, God, that felt like a rock when I went over it. <laughs> Just going through the twisties. See what it's like through here. This is a little bit of a test. It is extremely low in terms of where the pegs are. Could easily scrape those, but I don't want to. Not like those rolling sands. One of the things that I am noticing is the benefits of having good brakes, especially coming through here. I mean, it's just a freaking monster, guys. I cannot explain to you what it's like. I feel like the back tire's not worn in enough. It's a little bit slippery. I mean, listen to that engine roar. Let's go through here. Nice left bend. And open it up. That 110. Wop, wop. One of the things that I've got to get across in this vlog is that when you customize something as far as this, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're customizing it from a practicality perspective. Oh gosh, that's a bit close. It's usually based around the aesthetic look because that's what it's about. But I think this has got a tiny bit of balance about it. See what this is like. 60 mile an hour limit, let's go. And there we are, booming. That 110, that's when cam can still shift. It's such a great engine, always, had, always enjoyed it on the Lowrider S. And then coming out into this field, this countryside, it's awesome! So what is this bike like then at the moment? I think for me, you know, it's definitely something I'd use on the weekend, put it that way. It ain't going to be that bike where you're going to do long distance on, guys, obviously. It's been customised so much to represent a cool-looking bike, and sometimes, sometimes there can be a sacrifice of functionality. But you know what? This thing turns heads. Coming into the 60, so the GTB has got its first little test, which is quite a heavy right bend. See how it does, just dropping it down. And leaning hard right, a little bit of bounce. Then coming into the left, as you guys know, if you've uh, been watching my previous reviews, whoop, it's great. This is where uh, we get to test that front suspension. And oh, it's uh, it's definitely a bike you gotta you gotta wrestle a bit. But as we're coming down here, the front suspension is working really well. No issues there at all. Must admit, I'm struggling with my visor at the moment. It's really fogging up. And then we're just coming into a nice left bend. Just leaning it nicely in. Looking where we're going. And then opening it up. So coming into a nice right. Just dropping it down a little bit. And then just hearing that engine purr. And off we go. And when you really want to shift on this bike, you have absolutely got that power. Woo! 
Okay, it's coming into the right, then left. And over to the beautiful views. Coming into that left. Trying to not scrape the pegs. And then open it up. And as you guys know, we're now coming up to that final twisty. It's going to be interesting on this bike, that's for sure. But it's a sharp right, sharp left, into that long right. The pegs on this thing are literally centimetres from scraping. Here we go, into that left, dropping it down. Then into that right. Oh, this is a tough one. Oh, oh. Then up, into that left. Oh, but a scrape edge. And then into the right. So that is my first ride experience on this Softel GTB. And I must say overall, I liked it. I think for me, the one thing that's really impressed me is just the look of this bike. It's an absolute beautiful Softel. Definitely looks the part, massive head turner. And it's one of the reasons why I love custom so much. I'm not gonna lie, the visibility has been pretty horrific for me today. My visor's been steaming up constantly. I'm constantly opening it as well, like I'm going to do now. So if you guys want to come and have a look at this bike, get yourselves down to Sykes. I believe now it's actually going up for sale. So they'll be well happy that I've got it back to them in one piece today. And apart from that, guys, I'm going to wind this vlog down. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. But make sure you guys stay safe. All the best. Motor New Brighter.